my anesthetic had worn off. I'm feeling every bit of pain. I was slowly drifting away. The room was getting dark. The nurse came running out. We think he's not going to make it. Growing up, I was just always an active, cocky kid. I was a professional junior tennis player. I played throughout the world. I wanted to go abroad to specialize with tennis. But my dad's a doctor, my sister's also a physician. And I decided to just stay home and do my medical career here. I love running in little communities. It's nice seeing people in their daily activities. You see a lot of kids playing around hand-me-down soccer balls. They just think this is life, you know? But it's very raw, it's very real, and I don't think Dublin exists on a facade at all. I come from a family of runners, so I was training for my first marathon at the end of medical school had sharp shooting, a chest pain, and I lost 30 pounds. I was diagnosed with multi-drug resistant TB. The advice that I was getting from people who claim to be TB experts yeah. suggested that we do a lobectomy straight away. The yeah. lobe that's infected cut it out, and uh, we said no. Yeah. We were going to try and salvage it. I just thought, oh, it was another thing to do. We'll just take my six months of treatment, and I'll be fine. I took 23 tablets a day with IV medication in my heart. The side effects were getting worse. I got depression nausea and vomiting and feeling like you're about to faint almost every day. My skin started going into these big blisters, bursting with pus. I also had severe joint stiffness. Your joints lock up. Just to pee, it took me about 30 minutes to reach the bathroom. We spent nights uh, sitting in that lounge there, mulling over all the possibilities, basically wondering whether he was really going to get better and uh, listening to all the stories of success rather than failure. And then that, that's what gave us hope. After three years, one week, one day, I was cured. The majority of people think that TB only hits a certain grouping of people, very poverty-stricken, living in overcrowded areas. One third of the world today is infected with TB. As doctors and medical students, you're exposed to a big volume of sick patients. So if someone is collapsed on the floor, their job is to resuscitate them and bring them back to life. The doctor doesn't care about where the gloves are, where the masks are, where the aprons are. They're neglecting their own personal lives to help another person. Day to day, this is what a healthcare worker does. Don't sir? Keep up. Don't sir? That's why you're crying. Your chest is so bad. In again. Good. It's a very small infection. It's not bad. Right? And uh, I don't think it's not TB or anything. The doctors are sure it's not TB. This is a global health problem. It's not a problem that's specific to South Africa. Until we learn to empathize, we're not going to develop the best tools, the best vaccines. We have to look at how we're going to protect future generations to come. And we need all care workers to protect themselves. A vaccine would be the answer. Thank you.
மகள் வந்து சுசிலா ரெண்டு வருஷம் டிபி நோயினால எதிர்த்து போராடி சிரமப்பட்டுச்சு என் மகள் நிறைய ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் எடுத்து கூட மக சுகம் பெறதுக்கு வழி இல்லை Sushila was a staff nurse worked in our department she was diagnosed as having tuberculosis she was taking treatment after about a month she was still having fever and not feeling much better it came to be known that she was not just multi drug resistant but she was extensively drug resistant what is called xdr for two years we nursed her with every resource that was available every drug available we watched her slowly die aga idu na edukkuradhe illa indha pota valla ipo yero ettu versaach indha potti eduthu innikku dhaan paakuren naan eduthu edukkuradhe illa indha potti na thodradhe illa pat pat aa vandha sima இதுதான் வந்து இங்கே வீட்டை நேர்த்தது கேமரா அது வெள்ளை போட போட சொல்லிச்சு மேலே அதுக்குதான் அது எடுக்கிறதே இல்லை நாங்கள் அந்த போட்டாங்கல்ல பார்த்துட்டு ரொம்ப கஷ்டமாகி போகுது வென் சுஷிலா வாஸ் லாஸ்ட் the morale of the team especially the nursing team was at at its lowest the loss was too close to their hearts that quite a few wanted to be moved out of that ward the loss of sushila had repercussions in the institution people were asking if they were susceptible to tb as sushila was and in fact the answer to that had to be yes you we all are susceptible to tuberculosis so all nurses working in these high risk wards were provided with personal protection and put together various mechanisms to reduce the spread of tuberculosis within the hospital பதினேழு வயசுல இந்த நோய் பட வந்தது தமிழ் அப்புறம் விரல் எடுத்ததும் காலில் கொஞ்சம் புண்ணு வந்துடுது பெரிய வரல இந்த நாள் வரைக்கும் எனக்கு உடம்பு மருந்துக்கு மாத்திரை எல்லாம் கொடுத்து இந்த நோயை குணப்படுத்தி சுசிலா பேங்க் வேலைக்கு தான் போகணும்னு ஆசைப்பட்டுச்சு மேல நம்பிக்கை வச்சு செய்யுமானு சொல்லி அனுப்பினது நான் நான் தான் we are still nowhere near controlling tuberculosis as a problem 2% of our staff may develop disease every year tb vaccine is perhaps the most promising tool towards tb control night 12 manikala un ponnukku uyir piriyum appadi solli ponaga
I had doors slammed in my face when I mentioned the word TB. Even the healthcare workers would not be very keen to work in a TB treatment project because of the stigma. We select our health workers from the communities they are going to serve. Most of Operation Asha's health workers are women from disadvantaged backgrounds and they are our foot soldiers. They are the ones in the front lines of the war against TB. देखिए आपको टीवी है आपको पता है डॉक्टर ने आपको बताया टीवी है आपको हाँ देखिए आपको पूरे छः महीने का कोर्स है छः महीने का कोर्स में आपको एक दिन भी आपको मिस नहीं करना है डोज Our health workers sit in the community, waiting for patients to come. Every two minutes, one patient dies of TB in our country. In public hospitals, for one doctor, there are hundreds of patients waiting in the outpatients department. So patients continue to suffer because of the lack of manpower. So the TB health workers are actually working as educators as well they they are like family for the patients tb treatment is a terrible thing for a patient the amount of suffering is unimaginable दवाई को हमेशा साथ खाना है खाने पीने का ध्यान रखना है घबरा नहीं है कोई भी दिक्कत होती है तो तुम अलग से दवाई को खा रहे तो खाली दवाई ले लेगी धीरे से मुंह में रखिए काम से Healthcare workers across the world are suffering because TB has staged a comeback in the countries from where it had been eradicated. There is no effective vaccine for TB. There are 9 million cases in the world and we are working towards a common goal, TB eradication. So we need new vaccines, we need delivery channels, we need to replicate best practices. We've eradicated smallpox, we've got rid of polio, we can do TB now.
TB doesn't get the recognition that it needs to in the United States. When I was in medical school, it was always something that was not top priority. It was always on the bottom of the list. Our attending physician would ask, what do you think this patient has? TB was always last. I knew after I got my master's in public health that I wanted to do some global health work. My first job was working on a project with multi-drug resistant TB in Swaziland. That training basically shaped what I have become now. There are almost 9 million people in New York City. It's a microcosm of the world. In this day and age, we are a global society. We're just one plane ride away from some deadly illness. We think of TB as a disease that affects other countries. The U.S. is rather rich and that oh, it's been a poor person's disease. If you have a disease that's airborne, no amount of money is going to save you from getting that disease. This is very much a disease that is part of our city. Living conditions are very cramped. And you see that in the morning rush hour, it's a perfect breeding ground to transmit TB. The healthcare workers in general are scared of getting TB. I have a feeling that I will become positive working at this clinic. So you don't think this is actually positive. I kind of think it is positive. When a PPD is positive, it means that you have the TB bacteria in your lungs. Mm -hmm. Have you known anybody that has had TB? Mm -hmm. No. Well, the first thing I need to do is examine you, okay? I need to look inside your mouth, um, take okay. a listen, um, and then we'll talk about what else we need to do around this. People are not willing to come forward to tell you that they have TB or that they think they may have TB. It's not easy to treat. There's tons of medications involved. Physicians, we see about 20 to 25 patients a day, and we potentially could expose all of our patients if one of us had TB. This is not a disease of the Chinese. It's not a disease of people from India or Mexico. As long as you are around anybody that has TB, you can actually get TB. If this continues, you will have a problem in the US. Tuberculosis has been with us for a very long time. And if there was a TB vaccine, you would save many, many lives. A vaccine would not only protect us as a community of healthcare workers, but it actually would protect the people that we serve, which means one day there would be no more TB. I volunteered to work in a tuberculosis clinic in New York City in the early 90s. Working in that clinic, my tuberculin test converted from negative to positive. I was fortunate in that my TB infection didn't progress to TB disease. I 
I'm Dr. Tom Frieden, director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I've known of healthcare workers who got multi-drug resistant tuberculosis from working with tuberculosis patients. Here they were trying to help others and they ended up getting infected. No healthcare worker should have to choose between their health and their work. As doctors and even medical students, I think you're exposed to a big volume of sick patients. It's so hard to trace who has TB and who doesn't. You could say that almost everybody that you try to examine could potentially have TB. Everywhere healthcare workers are suffering and they are frightened. There are so many cases of nurses and community health workers and even doctors getting affected. They are not just doing it as a job, a nine to five job, eight hours job and they get a certain amount of money. They are doing it because they are here to help people. Healthcare workers are part of the community. They provide the support to the community to get the services they need. And if healthcare workers are at risk, are getting sick, especially if that's preventable, we're not doing what we could and should do to protect and promote our community health. We think of TB as a disease that affects other countries, that you know tuberculosis can affect us. If you have a disease that's airborne, no amount of money is going to save you from getting that disease. As long as you breathe, as long as you're walking around and there are people around, anyone can actually get TB. Healthcare workers in general are scared of getting TB. Just because you are negative now doesn't mean that you won't actually become positive. When any healthcare worker, a student or a faculty or a staff gets tuberculosis, it hits closer to home and it touches the heart. We cannot sit back and watch this deadly disease devour our colleagues. If we can't protect our healthcare workers, then we can't run our healthcare system effectively. So it's important not only as a matter of human rights, but as a matter of basic protection and our ability to function as a society. Even with our best efforts, tuberculosis continues to kill more than a million people every year. And though we can treat it and cure it, a vaccine would be our greatest hope. We need to figure out new approaches to making a vaccine and new approaches to testing and implementing vaccine trials. The more progress we can make, the more lives we can save.